Okay, this is our uh, solar generator, an MPP inverter 2724. Puts out 120 volts. Um, it's a 24 volt system. I have two SOK batteries, uh, 12 volts each, uh, in series for 24 volts. And that uh, gives us about 5 kilowatts of available power. I do have this mounted on a cart for easy moving on a two-wheel cart and so what I'm going to do here today I'm going to unplug the solar panels and we're going to move this out uh, out into our honey house and we're going to pump a drum of honey with the, with the power off this uh, solar generator so everything that we do today will be green all free energy from the sun. So stay tuned. So I'm gonna just unplug the uh, solar panels so I have the positive and the negative. So they just, they can just unplug here. Okay, I had them loose already, but just unplug them. Now this, now this is on uh, the cart and it's ready to move. Okay, here we are in our honey house, and this drum here is warmed up. I've had two heaters on there for a little over a day, and we can't, obviously, drums of honey get granulated, so you have to warm them up, and uh, then you have to pump it out of the drum. So when we pump it out of the drum, we use a honey pump, and this is a, all of this is food grade, we have a honey pump here. This is Maxent is the manufacturer who makes this honey pump. Um, we'll put a food grade PV, CPVC tube on there for pickup into the drum. And then this pump, gear, it's a bronze gear pump. We'll pump it uh, through the stainless steel piping, all food safe piping, food grade connections. We have a filter here that we use for um, draining it, it'll be a bag filter, and then it's going to come out there, and we're going to fill up these all of these pails here for a customer of mine, uh, three and a half gallon pails. And he wanted he wanted to purchase this complete the whole drum of honey. So on this drum of honey, I have two heaters. I, they're both 110 volt. Uh, one is a uh, silicone band. This is a silicone band heater right here. And uh, the other one is, is a belt, a uh, metal heating belt that goes on the bottom. And uh, this time of year, uh, in June, where the honey's somewhat warm, usually I can warm it up in a day. To, it has to be warm enough to pump. If it's too cold, it won't go through the honey filter and we'll, you can wreck the filter. So I heat this honey up to about 110 degrees to get it to go through the filter. So if we look inside the hair, so there's our honey right there. This is a food safe drum, epoxy lined. And this is just the white is just some air bubble foam that gets on there. It's in every, every drum. If you look at any honey in a grocery store, if you look at the top, you'll see a little white foam on the top. That's just from the bottling process. And so here is what a, a drum looks like, food, food grade drum. It's all epoxy line, there's no exposed bare metal or anything, and it even has a, uh, a uh, food safe lid that goes on there. So that's what that looks like. So I'm going to hook this up, get everything hooked up, and get my uh, generator started and everything, and we'll see about pumping this drum of honey. Okay, so our bag filter, <coughs> I did... Uh, that's the inside of the bag filter. So the honey comes in there, goes to the filter, and comes out to the bottom there. Now here I do have, this is what a bag filter looks like. I have slightly dampened it with water. This is the basket that it sits in, and you need to dampen it with a little bit of water, uh, otherwise the honey won't flow through it. And there's such a small amount of water that it's not gonna affect the uh, quality of the honey at, at whatsoever.
So I'll get this all assembled. And I do have the, uh, the suction pipe <coughs> put on this unit here, the CPVC. And uh, you can't really use a hose because the uh, suction of the pump could collapse a hose, so it has to be a hard type uh, food grade pipe. I have removed the heaters, you see. <coughs> so we'll get after this here. Okay, I do have the filter in. The filter bag is in. And the lid goes on. And I just have to get a, a clamp on there. It's got a stainless steel gauge here. And we don't get this at higher than 10 PSI. If it gets too high, over 10 PSI, I have to change the filter. And, but I should be able to go through this whole drum without having to change the filter. And I have a, the uh, pail in place. It's going to start collecting the honey. All right, let's get this uh, solar generator plugged in and up and running. Okay, the solar uh, generator is turned on, and you can see I have right there 119 volts available at our outlets that are right here, our four 20 amp receptacles. So oh, let's see here, I'll just, I'll just turn this on. Okay, honey pump is going. Max, it makes the pump, but they don't sell the piping. You had to get, I had to get all this piping at another, at another source. And these, the piping here, are, these are tri-clover clamps, they're called. It's a food grade uh, clamp. If this comes apart, there's a flange there, and there's a, a, a gasket, a nitrile gasket in there, food safe gasket. So everything here is all food safe for food consumption. Okay, so we can see our, uh, now we, gas, oops. So we are getting honey now in a, coming up through our filter. Okay, I filled one pail here. I don't fill it up to the top. This gentleman who buys the honey is uh, 70 years old, so he doesn't want to have it filled to the top. Uh, and he has the smaller pails just so it's a little lighter for him, that's all. We're going for pail number two. Now if we look at our solar generator, look at this, you can see we're just using the battery. That's the battery right there and the amount of uh, use of the inverter is only about 24 percent I think. There is no solar coming into this at this time. I, I did feel that the five kilowatts of batteries that we've got charged up yesterday should be plenty to be able to do this whole project. Now, this uh, solar generator with on the cart here and everything, with the weight of the batteries, weighs approximately 187 pounds is the weight. Okay, so we're about half done here on our, on our drum. That's about halfway. And this has been, uh, honey's really clean. Our gauge is still very low. And our solar generator's working great. You see the battery there, that's just showing at the battery and it's uh, still uh, in the upper, upper two thirds of the available battery. So this is working great. Written down there on the drum, I've tipped it. I have some pieces of stainless steel square tubing that I used in there. So we're getting down just about the uh, last uh, two pails, I think, what we have left here. Our solar generator is working great. Our uh, gauge has gone up a little bit, but we should be able to get through this whole drum without having to uh, change that filter. Oh, everything's going great. Still got a lot of power left on the on the uh, solar generator there, and this pump here takes about six amps. So six amps times a uh, six amps times 120 volts. It's 700 around 750 watts is used 
to uh, run this pump. Okay, our drum is empty. So we're going to turn off the pump. Let's we'll see what's happened with our screen there. Okay, everything's stopped. It does have the cooling fan going, so that's why it's using still battery. Um, but I would have to say, using the solar generator to pump this 55 gallons of honey, probably I'll get away here in a second, but. I think it worked awesome. Okay, now the, uh, it's been a couple minutes here and now all the fans have shut off on this, all the cooling fans. And if we look at this, we're still using a little bit of a electricity just to run this unit. It has a small draw. But other than that, air, all the power has been disconnected. We're done with the honey pump, so I can unplug that. Plus with this uh, system, this, you could also plug this inverter into the grid or a generator. If it was shady for a while and your batteries were low, you can recharge it with a generator, like I say, or, or the grid. So that it really helps uh, get you out of a bind. Okay, we're gonna go and weigh all this honey and see how much honey that we got out of this drum. Okay, so we have 16, uh, I'm sorry, 17 three and a half gallon pails on our scale. I already teared the, uh, um, the empty weight of the pails. So a net of 652 pounds out of that 55 gallon drum of honey. Okay, I got it back inside my shop. I'm gonna hook up the solar so this can charge back up again. Positive and the negative. have our amp meter here we will uh, see what the how much power this thing's happening here DC it's got to be on DC so right now it's bringing in uh, it's like about about eight amps nope nine kind of in between clouds all of a sudden if it's full Sun it goes up but it's 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 charging the battery So this uh, solar generator is a good example of something that it's for emergency power. You could have it in a van. You could have it uh, in your basement if something happened. We lost power and you needed to run your, uh, maybe a furnace in the winter time for a short period of time. And so, I mean, you got five kilowatts of battery. I mean, it'd be better if it had more, but uh, there is affordability also. Uh, you can take it up to a cabin. You can take it outside someplace. I mean, you do have to be careful a little bit with uh, uh, electrocution. You know, if you can't be on wet grass and do, and so they do. Uh, you could use a GFI on here that uh, would help, but um, this is not meant to be outdoors in the rain at all. But it is a great little uh, emergency power source that can have many uses. So at any rate, uh, thanks for watching.